the Carbon Expo. Good morning and welcome to Carbon Expo. This is our second live event and our fourth overall event serving our purpose of helping the oil and gas industry to join, participate, and succeed in the energy transition. We aim to bring you information that's practical, useful, something you can put to work, both relationships and information, uh, knowledge and skills, so that you can individually and corporately make a future that serves the world as well as we've served the world in the past. So today we've got a great lineup for you. Uh, a lot of our content is uh, available this morning. So we'll do a, a fireside chat uh, on emissions at 8.30. Um, and to find all this content, what you'll need to do is go to the agenda item and navigate to the individual item in the agenda. And uh, the video will appear at the start time at the top of the page. So we have sessions starting at 8.30, 9.10, 10, 10 uh, 11.20, uh, 10.50, and 11.20. But then we'll do a live interactive session. Uh, during the videos, you can join the chat uh, as they play and, and chat with each other in a watch party at, at each of those times. But then at noon, we'll sit down together in breakout rooms. Everybody bring your own lunch. I hope you have a nicer lunch than me. To, to chat, one o'clock, live Q&A. After you've watched the videos, you can uh, jump in to ask your questions to the speakers or to the, and to the panel of speakers. Um, two o'clock, we encourage you to visit the exhibit hall. And then uh, at three, we'll have drinks. BYOB, jump in a, a breakout room and, uh, and just hang out and chat. Listen, we've got a, a lot for you today, and I hope that you get the most out of it. Remember that all of these presentations are available for the next 60 days to all our registrants, and the presentations that are live will be recorded and available as well. And we've got some great content for you. What we've done is to organize around um, four primary themes. Uh, the first is emissions, and our fireside chat with Kevin Byrne of S&P Global will talk about the big picture of emissions, but after that, we'll get into, into more detail. A, uh, this is maybe not the most, the biggest, but it's certainly one of the most urgent issues facing us. An operator told me in confidence uh, a year or so ago that he had been facing a, uh, a public um, a newspaper article uh, who, that was going to uncover them as the one of the largest emitters in their state. And they, they worked with the, with the researcher, the investigative journalist, to buy a little time. And rapidly, they changed their policies and their practices to make them one of the lowest emitters in the state. And he said it was financially successful. They made money on that process. They did it quickly, and it was profitable. Seems like a slam dunk to me. But we're going to have, we've got uh, Dr. Jim Crompton from Colorado is going to talk about the lessons learned in that state that already has some of the most um, stringent requirements. We're going to talk with uh, Andrew Parker from SNSPL, who uh, is helping to lead the Gas Processors Association to create an industry standard for low emissions certified natural gas brings a unique research and perspective. <laughs> and we're going to talk with Combo Curve, one of the biggest, uh, fastest growing companies uh, in the engineering space about how to do economic analysis and reporting on emissions to measure its profitability. Now, we've also got a concentration on CCS. Uh, because carbon capture and sequestration is probably the biggest uh, and nearest opportunity and what we called counterstream last year. And we've got some, some great lineups here. Um, the, the CCS Knowledge Center is one of the large nonprofits out of uh, around the world working on CCS, and they're going to bring us some case studies, actual pro or actual project in Canada, 
and talk about how that went. Similarly, we've got Longquist sequestration again. Uh, I don't know of anybody with deeper experience, and they're talking about common misconceptions. Rather than, in both these cases, we've gone beyond talking about just the general big picture idea down to the things that people often get wrong. And then we've got Joe Mello from the eminent firm of Netherlands Sewell to talk about technical and legal matters that you may not have thought of in, in CCS. Some of the things are not obvious. Now, a, a bunch of this is going to depend on the pro on the, the business side, the profit, the dollars. And we've got several folks talking about the economic side. First, I'm very pleased to have S&P Global talking about the outlook for voluntary carbon markets. The kinds of sequestration credits that we can sell are high value, high value, um, high confidence sequestration credits and voluntary markets are going to be a key part of that. We've got Jim Guidera who spent decades uh, leading a major international firm's project finance. A project finance is something that's not as recent, not as current in oil and gas, but something that's very important in the new space. And then we've got Dr. Rita from Texas A&M, who's going to talk about how, from an engineer's perspective, in an engineering framework, how uh, engineers can use their skills in the new uh, in the new world, the new energy. And along with that, we've got a replay uh, of our Education for Energy Transition webinar, all about the programs, uh, ed formal education programs to help people to seize the opportunities at a personal basis. And then we've, we've a couple of wild cards thrown in for good measure, because these are going to be big, maybe a little bit lower. We've got uh, Dr. Joe Batir of PetroLearn, uh, the most uh, eminent, the most important voice on geothermal. And um, we've got Proton Energy talking about hydrogen. Maybe it'll be slow, but I believe it will be very big. And I may be surprised. It may happen sooner rather than later. So I hope to see you guys very shortly. Um, very important thank you. Thank you to S&P Global. They offer a great comprehensive range of insight and tools to help people make excellent decisions, uh, good investments in the energy transition. And uh, they've, they've really leaned into this new future. And I, I think they're, a, a, well, they always have been. I think they're going to continue to be a real player. And thank you also to PhD Win, who's sponsoring us. These, uh, PhD Win, of course, has um, been a leader in reserves and economics for a long time. And they're bringing a presentation today on how to use their software in CCS analysis. So uh, please go check out the sponsors, check out the exhibit hall, enjoy the videos, ping us if you need some help, and I look forward to seeing you today. A little bit about the platform. My job here is to show you a little bit about the platform. So just give you a quick orientation. Here's a lobby. You can just see what you can expect. A little quick bit about our sponsors. Here's what's happening now and just an overall snapshot of the agenda. Coming down here, you'll see just the announcements for the day. There'll be different announcements that'll pop up and you'll see that little red dot will pop up here whenever there's a new announcement for you to check out. This is where all the meat and potatoes are. So this is the schedule. Um, what you'll see here is that there are several sessions happening at the same time. So what I'd recommend is to go ahead and click whichever one um, that you might be interested in at that time. You can do, um, add it to your own personal agenda by clicking here. So let's see, I'd like to look at carbon mar pricing markets, um, a successful CCS project, uh, hydrogen sounds really cool, and um, definitely interested in climate tech. So then if I come over here to the top where my agenda page is, um, what you'll see is this is my schedule. It's, it's all lined out here. So really easy way to do that. Um, like we've, we've mentioned before, but it's worth mentioning again, even though these are all happening at the same time, you're not going to, you have the opportunity to go back and to, to watch these 60 days after the event is over with, within 60 days after this event is over. So all the conference content is, is available and all the slides and, and all, all the features, this whole entire program will be available then. Um, moving on, here's the exhibit hall. You can click in, check out some of these great booths. 
um, easy ways to contact them. You can chat with the folks in the in the booth um, as you see fit. Um, here's a conference wide chat. If you'd like, you can go ahead and chime in on this here. Which talk or theme are you most excited about for today? Um, moving on, here's the different lunch breakout sessions. Uh, please join them, have your video on, meet some folks. The happy hours is also similar. Um, one thing I do want to point out is whenever you do make connections with people here today, um, they show up here on the left side. So here's all, all of these are actually my connections from last year. But um, so this is where you can directly message them. This is just your, your whole list of folks that you've contacted with. And then here's your private messages between you and, and those people. So here you can see it just, um, and then you can add an image, propose a meeting. You can do a video chat with, with folks. So lots of ways to connect here. And I believe that is it for today. Um, so in about two minutes, we have the fireside chat that's beginning. So that'll be with Kevin Byrne of S&P Global. They're doing an outlook on emissions and um, we'll see you in there. Thanks.